G'day champions, it's Stuart Stone here from Health and Fitness Over 40 and it's time for another one of Stu's quick tips for an awesome 2018. And today's quick tip is don't stress about protein. You know, so often I see it online, I hear it from people when they start losing weight, focusing on their health, getting fitter and everything. They start freaking out about how much protein they need to eat. It's like, oh man, I need to eat 120, 150 grams of protein, I need to eat big steaks, I need to eat half a dozen eggs a day, whatever the heck else they're talking about. But let's go over to Common Sense Corner for a minute and think about this logically. Quick question for you, when is the time in your life when you're gaining the most weight and gaining the most muscle? And if you don't know, it's when you're a newborn baby going to crawling and then walking stage. So what are you putting in your body for nutrition? Well, mum's milk. So let's have a quick look at the research and see what mother's milk is made up of and that should give us a common sense idea of what our protein needs are and our nutritional requirements each day but also we'll look at what some more specific scientific studies have found that you and I need for our protein requirements each day. Okay, so the composition of human milk, we're talking about mature milk here. So in other words, that's the milk after the colostrum has come through and its breakdown, it's only three to 5% fat, less than 1% protein and approximately 7% carbohydrates. So in other words, you don't need a huge amount of protein when your body's developing from being a newborn baby up until you're doubling your weight approximately every three to six months. Now it says here in this research that the protein content is markedly higher and carbohydrate content lower in colostrum than in mature milk, colostrum being the first milk that comes through to the newborn baby. But again, it's not in the massive, massively high levels. And the official nutrition organizations, they recommend a fairly low protein intake and that is based around what your body excretes in a 24-hour period in the form of ammonium, nitrogen. So the dietary reference intake says approximately 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight or 0.36 grams per pound. So for the average sedentary male, that's 56 grams per day of protein, 46 grams per day for the average sedentary woman. That's maintenance levels. Now, as you age, you may want to bump that up to 1 to 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight, unless, of course, you've got kidney disease, in which case you want to lower your protein intake to take the load off your kidneys. Now, the research tends to suggest that if you're actively looking to build muscle, 1.3 to 1.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is the sweet spot. But remember these guys... Yes, elephants and gorillas have the strongest skeletons on the planet. And looking at the gorilla, he can build some serious muscle. What do these animals eat? Primarily, they eat a plant-based diet. What do they drink? Water. Now, that's not to say our physiology is identical to theirs, but what it's telling us is that a plant-based diet can still give you plenty of protein to build muscle. So I'm not here to say, hey, go vegan, go vegetarian tomorrow. All I'm here to say is that you can dramatically cut back your animal protein intake and in the process lower your risk of many diseases and still build significantly muscular physiques. Now at the end of this video scattered around the screen, I'm going to have three videos for you to get all the nitty gritty and geek out on the research like I like to. It's dude, where's my protein one and two, and also what are we designed to eat? That looks at the research based around our skeletons, our physiology, our digestive tract, our teeth and mouth structure, and so on and so forth, to give you and me the best idea scientifically on what we as humans are primarily designed to eat. So check those videos out. And that's today's quick tip for an awesome 2018. So for more quick tips like that for an awesome 2018, go over here and click on the red heart apple and subscribe to our YouTube channel. While you're at it, go down into the description box below, give our Facebook page a like, and we'll look forward to talking to you again soon.